Hi everyone. Hi everyone. My name is Mola Chekula and this is ETV News. <laughs> In South Africa, the biggest feminist struggle at the moment is that women are still invisible. Things are being decided, policies are being shaped, rules are being made without us, for us, about us. Um, and so I think the biggest thing about the feminist struggle in South Africa today is our absence. We wanted to talk to each other as feminists, as black women, uh, and women broadly defined, trans, non-binary non conforming people, about our politics and we get to have fun. It's an opportunity to connect, right? To meet new people um, and to find a way to bring different voices into what are sadly old conversations. That kind of knowledge of the kind of activism, the kind of theories, the kind of philosophies that have come before us and that people are currently making is an incredibly important tool that informs all the actions that we do in the world, whether it's attending a march, whether it's a tweet, whether it's um, other kinds of social media interactions or real life interactions, making journals, publishing papers, um, I think knowledge is at the base of it all. So it was very, very great to see people touching on those issues and people actually critiquing. For people who are claiming to be championing feminist struggles, they have to think beyond themselves, they have to think beyond their immediate surroundings and connect the struggles uh, and fight and show solidarity. I think the most important thing is walking into an environment where you're not going to be judged, where you're not constantly afraid of how people are thinking about you, about what you're wearing, about how you carry yourself, who you decide to spend your nights with. I think it's it's about feeling um, liberated. You can just be. I can actually say this is my first time feeling so safe in the way that the panel was, in the way it was handled. They're not asking like those silly questions, like the ones that we were told that, like not to ask like how much do we get paid and all those things. Today it was very positive and I feel good about that. We don't share enough of personal experience in life and I so I think that's why it's really important for these things to happen because we get to take away a wealth of knowledge that we wouldn't otherwise have found in our books. One thing I was like, oh my gosh, yes, 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 was when they spoke about like this thing of making feminism an intellectual game, you know, whereby like feminism is you only consider a feminist if you can use certain type of jargon. Your feminism should be about your activism and also like your lived experience. The, the pertinent um, question which is posed is patriarchy and alleviating it on economic, political and social level. I'd love to see a more equal society, obviously, um, not just for gender, but for race and for uh, economic uh, status. Creating spaces for people who sort of are going through these experiences but maybe don't have um, the community to have these conversations with people or also the vocabulary. Um, so like learning about certain things actually reveals to yourself certain things that you might be going through but didn't know. 
the terminology for and didn't know the communities that actually already exist. So I think that's why it's vital. Coming into a space like this, it's like breathing more oxygen than normal. It's like coming into an oasis where you realize you're not alone. Um, many of the things that you've cared for most of your life without a language, you realize that it does have a language and other women think the way you do. I didn't learn my feminism from feminists in academia. I learned it from my grandmother um, growing up in Guatemala Township in Springs. I learned it from my mom in the same place. I learned it from people around me. So I didn't have to learn it in academia, and that's not what feminism is about. That's just one strand. Just by waking up every day, showing up for yourself, for your sisters, for your brothers, for whoever, um, that's, that, that is part of the Feminist Project. We're still moving forward. We've got lots more work to do. Know that it's okay to be fearless. Know that it's okay to keep being you. To all mama be, to all sisi be, to all magas, to all taba, to all dana gata, to all dana gama, who are absent, who are tired, who are just finding it discouraging to continue. Uh, I would say to you, remember that we're here, that we're in this together, uh, and that our biggest strength is our solidarity. Let's work together to make. Uh, it's something that's inclusive, something that people can understand and something that everybody can be a part of. Anything is possible.